I had to fix zombie bait again because a wire came off his motor. Um, so I thought I may as well actually shoot an actual mechanism video of how this thing works. Uh, this applies to zombie bait, uh, bloody bag of jokes, at least the old model. The new one's a little bit different, but the way I built mine, I showed the tutorial, it essentially works the exact same as this. Um, and it all, it's also the same on Cocoon Corpse, and to a degree, Hung Up Zombie, but not really for him. But yeah, this is the gearbox right here. It spins this spindle and this spindle, which are, which are both on the same square shaft. Shut up. Hey, fuck off. I love you, but shut up. spins this spindle and this spindle. They're both on the same square shaft. There's a belt under that, which connects to the motor, and then that belt drives the uh, 12 tooth gear, and then that drives the rest of the gearbox, obviously. Uh, this spindle right here on the lower end obviously connects to that part of his body, which hangs, uh, and this one kind of wiggles. It spins in a way that makes this part wiggle around. And then the top one, it has this mechanism here where it makes it so it rotates uh, like a like a good 45 degrees and then just kind of keeps going around sort of like how the SVI deer motors work to a degree uh, but yeah here just to further demonstrate I'll kind of demonstrate him running like this <laughs> Also, his head mechanism is weird as hell. The motor is like all the way down in here. And also, I think the head on mine is just not actually fully attached. So I'm gonna try to actually attach it this time so that it moves a little bit better. But yeah, so uh, I'm gonna <sighs> see if I can, I think the motor should be fine, honestly. I, I, I soldered the wiring back on and I reinforced it a bit with better solder because, you know, he's 11 years old. Um, so, I think at this point he should be pretty much fine. Uh, but, yeah, I just thought that since an actual mechanism video doesn't exist of this guy, yeah, I may as well be the first one to do it.